and welcome back. So we're going to do some more side questing. Uh, we're going to the uh, Mick Gary's airfield right now. And we're going to do some side questing in here and get some of this done. And then we'll go explore the waste a little bit. And eventually we're going to go into these vaults and get stuff that we need. So, uh, yeah. Hope everyone's enjoying this series. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And let's go play some Fallout New Vegas. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 20... No, they wouldn't have briefed you, would they? Probably better that our junior fellows stay within the bounds of their pay grade anyway. Vault 22. Where to begin? Imagine, if you will, the wasteland in bloom. Vast fields of corn that grow from seeds and produce their bounty in the space of a month. Orchards of trees, their branches weighed halfway to the ground, hung with fat, ripe oranges, a harvest that could feed a city or a nation. And all of this, all this, requiring no more than a few drops of precious water and the efforts of only a handful of human farmers. Impossible? Precisely. Science has proven that truth a thousand times over, but how many wasteland savages believe it? Present company accepted, of course. The bounty I describe to you is no idle fantasy. It exists in primitive form only a few miles from where we stand. We need only reach out and unlock its secret. For that, the OSI needs you. Isn't it? One directs one's efforts, or the efforts of others, toward a goal, and progress is made. It's a matter of incentives, nothing more. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22 unlock the secrets of vegetative growth. Plants are spilling from their gate. No one tends them. No one waters them. Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. Good. No need to check in with the NCR authorities. I can authorize your payment from OSI accounts. Vaults typically contain a server room on a lower level where they would have backed up their research data. A computer room, you understand? Download all the information on the central server to your Pip-Boy, and you'll be certain to bring me any notes or samples that you find, won't you? I thought it was a fairly straightforward... Downloading the data... Did Dr. Hildern... This really isn't any of my... I shouldn't say anything. I know that. There were a lot of mercs. 
Then about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keith, and he didn't mention her. But now he's hired you, which means one of two things. Either he heard back from Keeley, and she failed. Listen, I make a fair way. Even the stupid NCR is investigating. Yes? Some... From Alice. I'll see that she's paid right away. Crimson Caravan runs a tight operation. Even out here in the waste, wouldn't do to keep them waiting. Was there anything else? Or were you just here about the invoice? I never said you were. You've been speaking to Williams, haven't you? Not at all. Informed speculation on my part. Williams is very good at her job, so it remains secure, despite her best efforts. No, you aren't the first person. All right. I'll admit that it's been difficult to find anyone willing to enter the vault. You have a deal. Hey. You got a second? The Brotherhood is failing. I've always known that. If we don't change course, we're going to fall apart, or... Great! Thanks! Thank you! I'll encourage people to name their non-ugly children after you. Seriously.
Welcome back. Well, you've proven yourself reliable so far. Would you be interested in more important jobs? As much as I like to handle matters personally, I can't be everywhere at once. There is a negotiation with a smaller trading outfit that I'd like resolved as quickly as possible. There's also the matter of Henry Jameson, an employee whose services I'd rather do without. His family connections make it difficult, however. And finally, I need someone to acquire the Gunrunner's manufacturing specifications. This job needs to be quiet. No alarms, no deaths. The Jamesons are very wealthy ranchers back in Redding, California, and significant investors in the Crimson Caravan Company. I was pressured into posting young Henry as the manager of the New Vegas branch. As you can see, he wasn't exactly cut out for the job. He was much more interested in gambling and prostitutes. And because of his family, I can't simply fire him. Henry needs to be convinced to quit, one way or another. I won't have a useless employee on the company payroll. You come around like a bad habit. They want to buy Cassidy caravans? Don't they know it's burned to ash? No. Even times being what they are. Not sure I'm looking to sell. Even for all the whiskey in Reno. If someone came up to you and offered you a thousand caps for your name, would you take it? Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I don't want to hear your answer anyway. Point is, I made the caravan what it is. It's m Alice McLafferty, eh? No, I see the zeros, and I know she's good for them. Still, it's not about the money. Dad'd spin like a twister if he ever heard I sold our name for anything. Look, I know you came all this way, and that takes some drive, especially these days. Just doesn't feel right, trading history for a slip of paper. That... that's a good point. It's the caravan clearance that's got me stuck here. I'm sure this bar's getting tired of propping me up. Still, Jackson's not letting me out of his sight as long as there's still trouble up north. You settle things with him, help the others around here too. 
I'll sign the paper if it means getting out of here. What? Jean Baptiste? Sounds like someone got knocked out of a good book. Either that or a. The only Van Graffs I know are the ones out west. Don't have any. The only Van Graff don't have any objection speaking with him. Though if he's with the Van Graffs, he should know I'm not looking to buy weapons. You come around like a bad hat. That... You come around like a Not leaving here until my caravan vapor's clear. Or my title goes away. If you were looking for someone to caravan with, I'd try the crimson... You come around like a bat. Look, I know you came all this way. Just doesn't feel right. You come around like a bat. You're obviously putting your money where your mouth is. On top of that offer letter, that is a lot of caps. Still, what makes you think that's enough? What, you think I'm cheap? Old name? What old name? So you're telling me I could take this money you're offering, give them nothing, and then go on to strike up another caravan same as before? What kind of fucking negotiator are you? Hope Alice knows the kind of snake she's got working for her. All right. It's a deal. Hand over that paper. Ugh, can't believe I'm parting with it. All right. There you go. Caravan's yours. Feel kind of relieved, actually. Guess I didn't realize how much I was carrying around with just the name. What's on your mind?
Jean Bap. Either that, or it's Canadarian or something. The only Van Graffs I know are the ones out west. Don't have any objection. What's I? <sighs> no idea. You got one. T What'd you think of Mr. House? Why does everyone... Nice! Can I order room service? You come around like a bat. Go with you? And why the hell... So you're looking for someone to help, not just tag along. Huh. Walking the Mojave with you can't be any worse than here, that's for sure. All right, I'm in. Caravan? You're the one who's been... Hungry? Thirsty? Horny? As I live and breathe, Rose of Sharon Cassidy, the late Rose of Sharon Cassidy, was hoping you were on that caravan I massacred. But Crimson Caravan and Van Graffs won't need to worry about you anymore. 
Mojave's ours, and we're shutting you down for good. Waited too long to finish this. Hi, I'm John Baptiste, and you're about to stop being a pain in my ass. Oh, that was fun. Did you see the look on that bitch's face? Priceless. Anyway, Flory's been antsy lately because that big deal she's been working on is finally going down. If this thing goes down, we'll have it made. Fucking made, I tell you. Talk to her about it. I'm sure she'll want you along. And don't think I forgot your pay. A job well done is its own reward. But it doesn't pay for pussy at the local brothel, does it? So when we come back next time, we'll go ahead and continue the uh, Van Graves quest, get that one finished off, and then we'll go and do those extra quests that we just picked up. So I hope everyone's enjoying the series so far. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'll see you again soon.